Hello everyone. Welcome back to Selenium training. Today we are going to learn about how to configure Selenium and how to write your first program. So before that, uh, I just uh, need to tell you one thing. Uh, you, you can go to core Java programs and just have a look uh, in my previous videos so that you will have a strong basic knowledge on Selenium as well. So just go through say, uh, core Java OOPS concepts and then come back to Selenium so that it will help you a lot. Now coming back to Selenium first program or Selenium configuration, we will try to uh, see how we configure Selenium and write your first program. So the first most uh, basic thing that you have to do in order to um, configure Selenium is you have to download two jar files that are required for running your Selenium programs. So today we are going to see about configuration of Selenium web driver and uh, our first program launching Chrome browser and opening google.com so this is the task that we are going to perform today now let's switch back to this website you can just open a new tab and just type selenium hq.org so when you do that it will be automatically navigated to selenium dev page just click on downloads you see a different uh, downloads here one is selenium server other one is the internet explorer driver server and selenium client and web driver language bindings so we see all this right so what we have to do is we need to have a client and a server files get downloaded okay see we have a selenium server here if you haven't seen the architecture just uh, i'll paste the uh, link in the description box you can watch that video so that you will get some clarity now i'm going to download the selenium 4 alpha version for now so and also i need a client so i am programming on java so i need a uh, api or i need a jar file for java so i'll download for java language binding so these are the two files right one is selenium java other one is selenium server okay and third most thing that you know that you need is chrome driver okay since we are using the chrome for our operation now we need a chrome driver so what i'll do is i'll go to google.com or i'll type chrome driver download okay you will be getting the first page itself just click here now remember the most very important thing you have to download the compatible version not not the latest version okay i'll tell you how to download the compatible version so now you can see 85 86 87 there are different versions right now go to your click on these three dots on your chrome browser and click on help and just click on about google chrome okay when you click there you will be getting the version here version 86 okay now what you have to do is you have to download version 86 not 87 okay so let me download this and you can see here different operating systems linux max win32 which is for windows so since ours is a windows operating system i'll just download this windows thing now i have my three files ready let me copy this and what i'll do is i'll uh, paste it somewhere let me create a new project or let me do one thing i yeah let me create one folder here and i'll call it as libraries and i'll paste it here yeah and i need to extract these files because i need to point out this just keep watching and chrome driver as well extract to chrome driver.exe okay okay now i don't need i don't know no longer need these two files i've deleted them so these are my libraries i have created 
a libraries folder and I have pasted it here. You can create your libraries anywhere that you desire. Okay. Now, let me um, do one thing. Let me create a new project for this demo. New Java project. I'll give it as Selenium Bus Program and I'll click on next and just click on finish so if you observe here there are two folders automatically being created when you create a project one is SRC folder where all your code exists and other one is GRE system library which is by default it has some uh, supporting dependencies jars which will help you to run your programs now we have already downloaded some jars which are needed apart from these jars okay so we have to add those jars here so how to add it so simply right click here JRE system or right click on your project okay and you can see the build path here right and then click on configure build path I'll tell you again click right click on your project and you can see build path and click on configure build path and click on libraries okay you can see different uh, tabs here source of projects libraries and click on add external jars and go to the folder where you created your uh, libraries folder just now so I am going to that folder now okay so I have two jars right so I am adding I have to add all jars okay you have even subfolders also this is uh, they have given other uh, jar also but uh, you can even point to that so just click it on click on open and again add the other jars as well which are required this one and then inside this lib also you have some jars just open all those and just add those without missing any single folder okay so you go to okay libraries and you can add this four version also but of course one version is fine but you can add so chrome driver is not required and uh, yeah selenium server yeah selenium server is four version right so you you have added that click on apply apply and close so once you do that you have seen here the another folder is created when we as soon as we close it okay it contains all the supporting dependencies which will help to run your program and compile your program and then do your uh, operation whatever you have scripted right now our setup is ready now let's let's write a simple program okay I'm going to create a package new package selenium first script so I'll be using small letter at the end at the beginning so that it will not throw any error which is a good practice or else you can write like com dot uh, selenium basics sorry it's yeah you can write com dot selenium basics click on finish so my package is ready now I'm going to create one class so my class name will be selenium first program or I'll say my first script is open Chrome or open Google page okay so let me click on finish okay I will create my main function which is required so public static void main okay my main class is ready now what I'm going to do is you listen carefully you have to write some few statements here so as we discussed web driver plays a very important role here you need a web driver concept here so if you haven't watched or, or let me show you or if you haven't watched that web about web driver just uh, uh, see the link in the description box and try to watch that video and come back so that you will get some clarity on web driver okay what I'm going to do is here web driver is an interface 
okay we have to implement that interface for opening a respective browsers for each and every browser you will have dot exe files okay so as we have downloaded for chrome we have chrome dot exe file right where we have we have libraries and chrome driver we have exe file right so like that for every browser you will have a exe file that's a driver file so now we have to create one object for web driver interface web driver i'll say driver is the, my own object is equal to new chrome driver i'll say chrome driver because i am trying to open my google in a chrome browser right now it throws some error right because we have to import these libraries which we have uh, added here right so point out here and it says import web driver it's coming from org.openqa.selenium so click here and then here also it says import chrome driver again it's coming from org.openqa.selenium it's a class click here now what you have to do is you have to set up a property for your browser okay how to do that uh, i'll say declaring creating object for web driver so this is the important step so you you have seen here driver right so this is the one which we will be using throughout your program to do your to convert your manual testing into automation testing okay now let me do one thing i'll say system dot set property of okay so there is there are some predefined syntaxes you have to remember those web driver dot chrome dot driver okay and here i am going to provide the value of the or path of the driver which i have downloaded so this is my path of chrome driver dot exe so i'll copy this i'll paste it here so i have to give double slashes I just remember that slash slash and my file name dot exe okay it's done and just give semicolon to close i have set up my chrome driver path set up chrome driver path or any browser now now what i am going to do i am going to use this driver object to open my google page okay so what i'll do is i'll say driver dot if i give driver dot you you have observed all the methods related to driver is coming here right so you have to learn all these methods i mean not all all are not required you can uh, uh, there are some few important uh, methods that you will be using on daily basis so I'll say driver dot navigate so you can see navigation so I have to navigate to one bro one URL so I'll give dot if you give navigate you can see different methods like forward backward everything right so I'll give two and you can see string right so I'll give one variable like HTTP www dot google.com so initially if you open your browser it might be uh, not maximized it might be opened in a small window you can even maximize your window okay here i'll say opening google.com okay now i'll maximize the browser okay maximize the browser so driver dot manage manage is the function that you will use for different operations window dot maximize okay so yeah now let's run the script and see whether google chrome is launched and www.google.com is launched open in that chrome browser okay so just you can either click here or you can right click here and just run as java application so since it's a main method we have here i i'll write a i'll just run as a java application 
before that I'll give here first selenium test to open google.com and I'll at the end I'll give google.com open successfully okay so let me run this program now run as java application okay now we got some error let's see what it is the path to the driver exe executable must be set by webdriver dot chrome dot driver system dot set property okay for more information see okay let's go here and see okay so this error will be uh, coming when you are uh, initializing or when you are declaring your chrome driver after the web driver okay this is a common mistake that everyone does so whenever you get this error you can see the path of path, the path to the driver executable the path to the driver executable must be set by the web driver chrome system property for more information so when you get this illegal state exception that means you have to declare this at the beginning of your program so I am declaring it here okay now let me run this program what should happen when I run this program it should open the browser using this syntax and it should launch the Chrome browser using this syntax and it should maximize the browser using this syntax okay so let me run this now you can observe Chrome browse driver has started successfully and Google Chrome is open and it's maximized okay so this is a simple script that you can learn as a beginner that will help you so in up in the upcoming session we will see something else I mean we can see uh, how to uh, type something and how to click on Google search or any other website we'll take as a sample and we will try to uh, do some operations on the browser and then we'll take it forward okay so that's all for now just keep practicing this is a simple script I'll be pasting this script in the description box you can copy and you can learn if you are new okay so meet you in the next session thank you and have a nice day